night, Fayetteville's Block Street Block Party is just wrapping up, and it was a day full of local shopping and entertainment. 4029's Emily Maha caught up with one local shop to find out what the Big Bash means for businesses. She's live in Fayetteville. Paige, the tents have been taken down and the vendors have gone home for the night, but many of the businesses here will be seeing the benefits for days to come. We have prints here, uh, William Mace Flanagan prints. Uh, M.M. Kent works with the Fayetteville uh, Underground uh, Art Gallery. Our purpose is to bring art to Fayetteville and to Northwest Arkansas. Kent says the Block Street Block Party helps him do just that. I had someone come in today and actually purchase the first piece of original art that they've ever owned. From street performers to local shops, visitors young and old hit Block Avenue to take a look at what the area has to offer. Today was my birthday and it was a beautiful day, so we thought about coming out and enjoying ourselves. May Longfellow is one of those new customers. Many of the Block Avenue businesses hope come to the party. I've seen some stuff that I didn't even know we had in town and I've lived here for almost 30 years. And whether it was one of the street vendors or a Block Avenue regular like the Fayetteville Underground, Organizers say the party is a boost for local business. It helps us mostly to bring in people who've never been in our door. And this is the third year the block party has been held, and event organizers say they expect thousands of people to have come out for today's event. Reporting live tonight in Fayetteville, Emily Maha, 4029 News. Well, Block Street was closed off to traffic this afternoon between Dixon Street and Mountain Street, but now it's open again.